Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about database command in automation anywhere. So here I will show you how you can use database command to perform different types of actions. Like you can connect database as an Excel. So you can connect your Excel sheet as a database. So there you can write the SQL query or and you can you know you can connect with the available database like sql server oracle database etc etc so i'm going to talk about in details so here i'm going to show you the like how you can use this command along with the we will we will definitely discuss about the benefits okay and the prerequisite of using this command so before starting this session so those who are, are new to this channel and interested to learn rpa i would request you to kindly refer to my previous videos so you can get like uh, videos based on automation anywhere and UI path. And if you want to get the link of those videos, kindly refer to this video's description sections. All right. In case if you are looking for a end-to-end -end RPA project support or project development or RPA training, so you can go ahead and contact us uh, via this mail ID, which is rpa.developers1 at gmail.com. So we'll be very happy to help you in terms of like rpa development or a training or a project support all right so let's begin the discussion okay so let me go to the automation anywhere okay so you can see here this is my database command okay before start the discussion about this command so let me tell you what you have to do to use excel as a database or use this command without having any error you have to install a, a search engine okay so basically you have to install a driver okay so let me show you the link of the driver from where you can download so what you have to do you have to go to the microsoft or this website okay from there you have to download the driver so if you click here so you'll see the details about these drivers okay so microsoft access database engine all right so i'll put this uh, link in the uh, this video description section so first you have to install this driver all right once you have installed this driver then you can use your excel as a database or you can uh, you'll be able to use this database command okay okay so why we are talking about database command is like one of the important thing is let's say you are working in a project where you have to work in multiple excel right so you have to read the data you have to write the data so let's say you are reading huge numbers of data so in case if you are using the excel command so there there, there will be a chances of getting error so might be if you are doing a copy paste or you are doing some other action using excel command so so uh, like you know due to the slowness of server or the excel might be not responding all the times so so during those type of you know action you might get some error where your bot will fail however if you use this database command and here you can connect your excel as database so the chances of failure will be zero so here the thing is that bot will read that excel so basically once you create a connections bot will treat that excel as a database and it will read the data from the back end. So good thing about this command is it will not open the Excel in in front of the system. So whatever action you are going to do, it will do it from the back end itself. Okay. So chances of you know getting errors like H result error or Excel is not responding will be uh, a zero here in case if you are using this command. All right. So within database command we have a five different sub commands. So you can see like connect, disconnect. SQL query, insert, update, delete, restore, run, run, store procedure. Okay. All right. Today we are going to talk about how we are going to connect uh, to Excel as a database. Okay. So followed by we will write a SQL simple query to read the data. Okay. So here you can see we have to put the session name. Okay. So like let's say uh, for example I am keeping as a default and you can see here. We have to put the connection string so you have to put the details of the connection string so connection string is nothing but a details information which will help you to create a connections between automation anyway data database command with the other uh, things like excel or the other database which is available okay 
if you click here you will get some other options so let me click and open so here you can see the list of provider is available here so basically this list of provider is supported by the automation in your database command okay so if you see here connections advanced so we have so many things available here so currently what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how you can uh, read excel file using the uh, uh, string okay so this is like connection string only so there are several ways to connect connect excel so i'm going to show you the simple way in this video so this is basically a part one video for database command so here i will show you how you can do the excel like connection and the same thing we can write in a sql query okay so all right let me go to the folder where i have kept a simple excel this is my sample excel so here i am having some data you can see so these are the data available in the excel okay so now i'm going to use this excel as a database and i will write a sql query to read the data okay so let me go to a notepad where i have written the a connection string so this is a connection string to connect a excel as database so if you want you can get this connection strings from the connection strings.com also okay i will put this connection string in the description section also so in case if you want to use you can go ahead and use uh, this connection string the only thing is that you have to make the changes here like your source equals to your excel path okay and this thing is like hdr equals to so yes or no in case if you want to keep a header in your excel so you can keep yes or no right so here i have already added the path of the excel okay and in my scenario i want to keep the header as yes so let me copy this okay and i'm going to the database command here simply i'll do the paste okay so here you can see it is showing like connect to this okay so once i run this so it will create a connection connection between that excel sheet and the database okay so successfully we have uh, connected now i'm going to write a sql query to fetch some data okay so here i will write a sql query like select all i will write from then you have to put the seat name so make sure you are putting the correct seat name so database command will work based on the seat name okay it will not go to the active seat or like that the way excel excel command is working so you have to put the proper seat name to work with this uh, command okay so i'll put here then you have to put a dollar symbol okay after that i want to apply some conditions so if you see my data so here like i am having the region and the item so many information is available okay so i want to put some conditions like where i want to put here like uh, the column name okay so i'll copy this column name okay and i'm putting another conditions here is i will go with the item part also okay so here i will put item equals to something let's say pencil okay okay all right so once i run this query it will uh, give me the output based on this condition okay so let me do a save okay, now what i will do i will use a loop okay to get the data so if you go to the loop we have a loop for each row in sql query okay so i will this a sql loop and i will do a set okay all right so you can see here we can use this system variable called data set command okay so data set command variable will give us the output based on our conditions okay so let me use this so here i'm going to do a f2 and i'm going to put a data set column okay so here let's put something like um, i mean uh, i'm putting a column let me go to the excel okay let's put column as one okay so it will give the output for column one so let me run okay so first let me close this excel okay 
So now let me execute this command now. Okay, so this is the output, the second one, third one. Right, so let me go to the Excel once again. And I'm opening this Excel. So here I am having this three three places where my condition is matching. East, okay, east with pencil, this one and the this one. Okay, so that is the reason we got three three record in the message box. Now another thing, what we can do here is so let's say after applying these conditions, okay. So let's say you are having a huge data available in your database, okay. So based on certain condition, you want to extract some data, okay. So here we can do the same thing. So you can see the bottom. We have some other options available. So you can put like maximum number of record you want to fetch or the timeout query. So let's say if your query is running for a long time, so you can specify the time. So within that time, it will automatically, uh, you know, uh, time out the query. Okay. So now I'm going to select these options, export to data to CSV. Okay. So based on this command, what will create a different CSV and it will write the data for this logic. So I'm going here. Okay. Let me take the path. I'm putting the path. Okay. All right. Then I'll put a name as like POC data dot csv okay let me save this okay so this time i will run from here okay so first i will create a connections then i have to use a connect a disconnect also right because once everything is done we have to disconnect with the database okay so all right so we are good to go now so let me run this command and we'll see whether it is generating the CSV output or not. Okay, so you can see like it is running very fast. So, so good thing about this is like the chances of error will be very less. So you can see this is my POC data Excel. Okay. All right, so you can see here we got this three output. Okay, so based on that logic, we got this three output in my uh, uh, the csv file so similarly we can do uh, you know many things using the database command so currently i am uh, not going to tell you about the other commands which is available okay so this is as this is the part one for this video in upcoming videos i will explain you how you can create your own connection string right so so in this scenario what i did i have uh, written down uh, the details of the connection string from like I gathered some information from the websites and I created my own connection string right here. So similarly, if you want, the, this command will help you to generate the connection string for you. Okay, so this is the option, okay, which will help you to build your own connection string. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to explain you how to build your own connection string. Okay, and also how to connect with the I mean, other database like uh, a SQL database or the Oracle database. Okay, so here only I have shown you how to connect Excel as a database and perform these activities. And apart from that, we will look into this insert and the run stored procedure also. Okay, so we will talk in more details in upcoming videos. So so that's all from these videos. And I hope you find this video very helpful and able to understand basic about the database command. If you are uh, having any questions or any suggestions or you want to add anything uh, in this uh, topic, I would be happy to uh, see your comments or the feedback or you can mail me your suggestions or feedback in other mentioned mail ID, which is, let me show you my mail ID once again. So this is the mail ID. So you can go ahead and uh, share your details or the view. And I would request you to kindly subscribe this channel to get more RPA related videos. So uh, thank you so much for uh, your time guys. Thank you.